Welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. Hi everyone, Katie Gehring here. On today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be showing you how I made a couple of bright and magical rainbow striped cards. So to start, in creating my background, I pulled out the Pattern Play stamp set, and I'm going to be using a couple of the stripes that are included in this stamp set, along with Waffle Flower inks to stamp a really fun, bright, striped rainbow pattern onto some white cardstock. So to start, I'm using the double striped stamp and I'm going to be kind of going in a modified rainbow order. So the first color that I pulled out is the My Pleasure and I'm stamping that twice because I want to make sure that I get a really bold color. And then I'm going to actually be layering that stripe with um, another stamp set from the set. And what I did is I didn't want the pattern to show onto the card. So I'm actually stamping the back side of the stamp. So that's one of my favorite tricks when I'm when I'm pulling out stamp sets is I often look to whether or not the back of the stamp set can be used and it's a great way to get a little bit more mileage um, and bang for your buck from your stamp sets. So now I'm layering in a few different colors on top of the red ink, um, mostly in the pink and purple family. And I'm getting ready to transition to the yellows and the oranges. So I'm positioning the stamp onto the cardstock and then picking it up with my Misty, adding the ink and then pressing it down onto the cardstock. And then I follow up with the other stamp that I'm kind of stamping the backside of and um, just filling in the gaps. And the nice thing about this technique, because I'm using the dye inks, is that where those colors meet and overlap, they're going to blend together really nicely. So I've sped this video up a little bit and I've also um, edited it quite a bit. Um, so that you can just kind of see how it is progressing. I'm going to work my way down the length of the cardstock, following the same technique, stamping the double stripe and then filling it in with either the double stripe again or the back side of one of the other pattern play stamps that are included in the set and just continue to work my way down. Now the ink that I'm using is Waffle Flower ink and I'm pretty much using all the colors. Well, not exactly all the colors, um, but the really bright fun colors that are included in um, the ink release. So they are Chirp Chirp, Daydreaming, Happy Go Lucky, My Pleasure, New Fish in the Pond, Oh Happy Day, Safe Choice, Tickled Pink, and You Said What. So at this point, I am nearly complete with stamping the panel. So I went ahead and repositioned the card in my Misty so that I have plenty of room to work. And I'm just stamping my last couple of solid lines in um, a purple as well as a pink. And then this background is going to be finished. Now, because this background is so bright and colorful, I'm going to keep the rest of my design pretty simple. And I've pulled out the new magical butterfly die as well as the magical flower border die. And I'm going to die cut these dies onto some white cardstock. So you can see I've done that there. And I just love the way that they die cut. They're really beautiful and intricate. And um, I just think will look really, really nice on the card. So what I'm doing now is I'm positioning my die cuts where I think they're going to go on my finished product and I am going to be stamping my sentiment next. You'll see towards the end of this video, I had a card catastrophe with my first attempt on this, um, on this project, and I was able to rescue it, um, but I learned a very valuable lesson um, in that you stamp your sentiment first um, before you permanently adhere your die cuts to the rainbow striped background that you so lovingly created. So, 
for the sentiment came from one of the sets that's illustrated by Helen Dardick. And I think this one is called, it's the Enveloper Choice. And the sentiment says, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you, which I think goes along really, really well with the East die cuts because there's going to be a flower garden at the bottom with a little butterfly and it's just going to be perfect. So now to add just a little bit of interest to the die cuts, um, I'm going to layer them with some gold cardstock. And I wanted to share with you a product that's new to me um, that I have never had an opportunity to use before. And it is called Graphics Artist Tack. And so how it works is it comes in this booklet. I, am, I got about 25 sheets and you peel up the protective layer and there is an adhesive sheet that is covered with teeny tiny little adhesive dots. And what you do is you put your die cut or your piece of paper that you want to adhere on top of the teeny tiny glue dots and then you kind of rub it on the um, glued surface and then when you pick it up all of those teeny tiny adhesive dots have transferred to your die cut. So I think this is going to work really, really well for those detailed die cuts without having to pull out your liquid glue or even spray adhesive. Um, and here I'm going to show you how I use the artist tack on that very detailed flower border die. All of those veins that are drawn into the leaves, those could be pretty tricky to adhere individually. But using the artist tack, I was able to just kind of place it onto the adhesive, rub it, and then when I peel it up, it's got the adhesive on it and it really good coverage. And I just have to kind of burnish it together and um, take care of any little stray adhesive dots that may have come along with the project. The other nice thing about this is that when you're doing it um, there are going to be little bits and pieces of adhesive that are left behind so you can kind of go over the same area a few times and i think that's really going to help economize um, the product for you i'm going to use the artist tack to adhere the butterfly to the card um, i certainly could have used um, you know, just regular adhesive, that butterfly is not such that it's so, so detailed that, um, you know, this is super necessary, but I already had it out and I thought it would be um, just easier to use it. And plus this way, I make sure that I'm getting some good coverage on those fine antenna that the butterfly has. So now I'm ready for some finishing touches on the card in the form of some clear sequins that I'm going to adhere using glossy accents. And then I'm going to be attaching the card to a pink note card base, and I will be calling this one done. So I was really pleased with how this turned out. I am a sucker for anything in stripes and I love rainbows. So um, this background and this card, I think, is just really sure to brighten someone's day. So here is the finished card. And now I'm going to show you an earlier attempt at this card. Um, I had attempted the card a few days earlier, and you can see I had a catastrophe when it came to stamping the sentiment. The sentiment is supposed to say heartfelt thanks, and it's from the Enveloper Hello stamp set. And somehow um, when I stamped the sentiment and I was using my Misty, um, the card stock shifted just a tiny bit in the Misty. And when I went to adhere another layer of ink just to make sure I had really good solid coverage, um, the paper had shifted and um, the sentiment was just not clear. And I was super unhappy with it and pretty frustrated. Um, but you know what? I took a picture of my stamping boo-boo because you know what? It happens. And I took it to Instagram and I had a lot of really great suggestions from friends and card makers on how I could fix this. Um, one of the things that everybody was saying was like, don't give up on it. So as much as I wanted to um, throw it in the bin, I decided to um, 
take a couple of different suggestions and I am heat embossing the sentiment onto a piece of black card stock with white embossing powder and then I'm going to trim it into a banner and adhere it to the card using a little bit of foam tape. I'm just trimming the um, the banner there at an angle just for a little bit of interest. Oh, and those fuzzy ears that you saw just briefly in the, the corner as I was trying to do the trimming was our six month old puppy who was desperately trying to make her YouTube video debut. So um, that got that under control um, and I am just trimming the cardstock a little bit because I'm, I think I'm going to adhere it to a black note card um, just to kind of bring in a little bit more black so the sentiment banner doesn't really look out of place. So now I'm ready just to kind of adhere everything together. I'm adding a little bit of adhesive to the back of the note card. I'm going to adhere it to the, the note card itself and then with a little bit of foam tape attach the sentiment banner. So I'm attaching the banner here and then just like with the other card I'm going to finish it off with a few clear sequins. So I think that even though it didn't turn out the way that I had expected or hoped um, my first time I was really happy that I was able to save the card and I'm glad that I turned to my fellow card makers and crafters for some advice. So that's going to be it for me today. For more information about the inks, stamps, and dies that I used on today's card, please visit waffleflower.com and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for even more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day.